so if this is the x this is the y this is the z we are told that v is here it's a sphere yeah radius one so this here is one 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 right and and this this is the 3d delta function r you could just rewrite it as r minus the zero vector yeah and the triple and this is just d tau or v on volume v and v is that sphere and so you're just going to pick up the value of the function this is delta not integral uh, you're going to pick up the value of the function at vector zero Right, so this becomes now if the zero vector is in the sphere, and it is this sphere includes the zero vector. Yeah. And so this is just going to become, yeah, yeah, the value of f, assuming that this is f, evaluated at vector zero. And so all you have to do, so now this becomes R minus R zero, right? right? Squared, evaluated at R equals zero. And so this becomes zero vector, which is zero, zero, zero. That's what the zero vector is, minus R0, which is given in the problem, what was R0? R0 is 0, 3, 4. All squared. So this is just going to become uh, 0 minus 3 minus 4 squared. This is just the magnitude of the vector, right? which is 0 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared which is 16 9 25 square root 25 is 5 that's how you do it yeah makes sense Oh, we don't need to square it here, right? Because, no, because it, we don't need to square root it. It's already squared. Yeah, because the magnitude wouldn't. wouldn't so, be. so this we don't the magnitude need. We don't need magnitude. that, yeah. Right. So it's just twenty-five. Yeah. The magnitude, twenty-five. The magnitude would never be negative anyway. Yeah, I just uh, forgot. I just forgot about this uh, square. It's already squared. Although you'd have to if. Depending on uh, 